go. Why are we overweight? That's a bit weird. Just a little bit weird. I guess we'll just take a leisurely stroll over to see Amir. Vatgen Geralt. That's me. Your Imperial Majesty. Witcher, why have you come? I've managed to find out where Ciri is. Finally, I've begun to doubt the wisdom of enlisting you. Bring her here at once. The Wild Hunt's pursuing her. Kaer Morin's the only place she'll be safe. That was not a suggestion. I can defend my own daughter. No, you can't. I don't doubt it. Against conventional foes, the Wild Hunt's different. Facing it here would put Vizima at risk. Hundreds of innocents could die. Kaer Morin is in a wilderness, and your army stands to be far more helpful there. Hmm. Agreed. I shall send a banner with you. On one condition. Nice. General Voris will lead it. Can't agree to that. And I cannot agree to witches commanding my troops. Well, I'm not about to give in. You don't look it either. Sorry mm. to take up your time, your majesty. Bring me Siri. Shut up, man. I Just will. Just shut up. If that's what she wants. Just shut up, dude. Right. Okay. Don't tell me to behave. You behave. Go to Skellige. Let's do it. Let's 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 start doing the last little bit of this game. We'll travel to the harbour. Get on a boat. Okay. Where are we going now? Oh, fuck. Geralt. Get on the boat. Dude. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. I'd appreciate it. There we go. Travel to the Isle of Mists. Where is it? I mean, we've, we've been, we've been there. <laughs> Let's get sailing. Why have we, I don't know why we got to take a boat this whole way. Slightly annoying, but, you know. Considering that the boats are just so slow, like so slow, I'm not, I'm not happy about it. Not a happy pappy. <laughs> Hidden treasure, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traveler's notes. I swear, not in my whole life have I ever seen such waves. 10, 12, 14 feet high. And the wind, why it shook the mast and battered the sails, 
so they was near so they they were near about to fly off uh, rocks everywhere current stretcher as helmsman said we'd pull through uh, it's seen worse and we'll come out all right me i'm not so sure Still don't, storm don't calm soon this tub's gonna break in which it did by the looks of things where is this sunken cargo oh it's just it's on the other side how are you gonna make it so far away man They're right about it being misty. Holy shit. Alright, let's dive. Whee! Is this the one? This looks like the one. It was. It was. Go this way to the Isle of Mists. Uh, warning: Save your game now. You're nearing a crucial point in the game story. It is very recommended you save your game. Manual save slot. Okay. Okay. Sure, you want to travel to the Isle of Mists. After traveling to the Isle of Mists, some side quests will no longer be available. Recommend a character level 22 or higher. That's fine. That's fine. That's cool. that held him up proved hard to lift but Jennifer and the witchers managed to do it the ugliest we've already seen this one himself to be come on now man but elf and an elven sage at that Avalach, for this was his name was the elven mage who had helped Siri flee the hunt then hidden her away on the Isle of Mist Creepy. Creepy. Way too creepy. Follow the firefly. Okay. We're moving. Moving and grooving. My boat is magically fixed somehow. Jesus Christ, decide which way you're going, you dumb firefly. You're gonna make me crash. What we got under, under here? Oh. My kidneys. No, thank you. Come on now. We're drifting right now. Tokyo Drift. Get off my boat. Get off my boat. Get off my boat. Oh, fuck. That was close. Oh god, I'm breaking everything. That'll do. Trudging our way. 
There we go. We're good. Loot all that. Slow down. Oh. Tangalore. Ow. You're telling me you've hidden her on an island full of foglets and sirens. You weren't a very nice man, Avalok. That doesn't sound nice. Firefly stopped at the hut. I'll look inside. This is the moment. Locked. Anybody in there? Damn. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open up. Oh, you blew a fucking cover. Who are you? And what do you want? <laughs> I'm Geralt, a witcher. Go away! Looking for a young woman. Ashen hair, scar on her face. Will you let me in? No. How many of you are in there? Why do you need to know? You're taking a bloody census. <laughs> now my mum's beard, get yourself together, lad. You there, outside the door. Geralt, is that right? Yeah, Geralt. Listen, Geralt, let's cut to the thick of it. We survived a shipwreck. Recently, beasts from the deck ate some of my lad, and the rest of us found shelter here. Not too special, that, as dangers litter this isle, but it does go to explain why we're a wee bit distrust. <laughs> this conversation's getting tiring. Listen, let's make a deal. A bloody demon. It was like a dupe us now. I'm not a demon. You don't need to fear me. Give me a chance, I'll prove it. How do you aim to do that? Say I find your mates. Will you believe I mean no harm? I but I'm not counting either. I mean, too easy. How many are there? Hey, I will get that a finish. Okay. This Ivo. Where do I look? Edgar's insisted he'd explore the cave to the east. Try to knock it out his head. Literally. Bugger would budge it. Gaspard. Where will I find him? He said it was defeated. Said the gates to be left. We have to take action for all of these. He did. Claimed to have spotted a lantern out to sea. So he said he'd climb the highest peak to look out for a ship. Okay. Where'd Farron go? Where? In search of a ship that said to be your dead. Farron, he's uh, handy. Thought I might fix it up. Need to see one thing. Uh, right. All right. See if I can't find all three. See ya. I'm content to understand. Okay. We're going and doing stuff. God damn. The harpies. No, don't fucking fly kick me. Are you Bruce Lee? Get out of here. No! Don't fly away! Why am I using Yarden? There Where's this last one? There he is. I'm coming for you. There we go. Easy.
right, Ivo. Oh, fucking bilge hag. Oh, there's two of them. Well, that was pretty easy. Just knock them both on the floor. Dead. A man! Ha, am I ever pleased How did he manage to get up there? Talk to your friends. Come down. Right. I'm coming. You lucky devil, you. You know, I have one regret that. Oh, ah, ah. Dead. Damn. You are stupid. Look at you, you're dumb. Parsley. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I can hear him. Be gone. Be gone. Hey, wake up. Shoo. Back to bed, Nibbles. Wake up. What, what's happening? Who, who are you? I'm Geralt. Your friends asked me to find you, Ferenc, and Ivo. I'm afeard they're dead. Some horror sworn Ivo saw it with my own eyes. And Ferenc, I heard him. A blood-curdling cry, then the roar of a beast. Let's get back to the hut. I'll protect you along the way. Shame about the lads, really, but what can you do? Come on. But I should warn you, I suffer from narcolepsy, meaning... Uh, I know what it means. God worry, damn it, man. Uh, off we go then. He's gonna be sleeping the whole way. Come on then. So slow with your little dwarf legs. Ow. Come on. It's, it's stronger than me, I'm so. She's a naughty kitty, aren't you? <laughs> All right, I'm up. If you do that multiple times, I'm gonna punch you. So hard. Know much about this isle? Almost nothing. You know, it, it ain't on my map. The common characteristic of enchanted islands. You think it's enchanted? It's the one thing I'm sure of. Oh, no. Which way are we going to the hut? That's the hut. So we need to go south. This way. You are so slow! Come on. Come on. Drifting off. I'll soon see. 
God wake damn it. up. I don't, I don't want to go to school. What is happening with your foot? So, Dude. what is it brought you to this strange place? Looking for someone. H here? Mm -hmm. Just kind of turned out that way. Not too keen on talking about it, are you? Not really. Alright. I'm dropping you off. This place seems safe enough. Just be sure and come back. <sighs> Make it quick, eh? Not that much to see here. Right. He's dealt with, finally. Let's go find Ferenc. Mm, I see a foglet. He doesn't pick a fight with me. Though there is another one right there. That was easy. <laughs> Tried to flee the fiend. Stubby legs, too slow. One of the missing dwarves. Shame he's dead. Right. Do we try and take out this fiend? I cannot save game right now. Game saved. We're fucking up the fiend. Let's go. Fucking him up. You killed a, 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 a defenseless dwarf. Therefore, you must die. Done. You're dead. Avenged. Easy. Drowsy, that's all. What of the others? Found one near a monster's den. He was already dead, sadly. Saw another fall from a cliff. Broke his neck. Shit. Roderick told me to have an eye on the snot. Cause his nephew. Thanks for helping. And, uh, sorry I didn't trust you. Oh, everything's gone wrong. What'll we do now? Got a boat. You can leave with me. But I need to find someone first. An ashen-haired lass? Yes. Oh, dreadful, sorry. What do you mean? She's cold. Spirits left her. Bullshit. Must have passed shortly before we found her. Let's wait by the boat. Go, Geralt, go. 
Go, go, go. Why is your dagger jibbing out? Stop. <laughs> Sad Geralt. Sad. Boom. Done. All a, all a joke. It was all a prank. Guess not all of Vesemir's teachings have receded into oblivion. A witcher can forget to eat, to drink, to breathe even. But a witcher never, ever forgets to care for his blade. <laughs> ah, yeah, I used to repeat that incessantly. Never tired of doing it either. What creature was it? Huh? Creature? One that gave you the scar over your left eye. It's new. I don't remember it. Souvenir from the Cockatrice of Spalna. Another addition to the collection. Nothing special. Hmm. Yours has healed beautifully, though. Abelach. He prepared some special ointments for me. But that was before the curse gripped him. Wonder where he is now. We lifted the curse. He's at Kaer Morhen, waiting for you. Are you serious? You must be. You'd not jest about something like that. <laughs> A nice thing to wake up to. You trust him? Avalar? He's not let me down to date. Not once. Why exactly is Avalar helping you? Sages have never been fond of humans. Well, he doesn't do it for me. It's about my power. As if it could ever be about anything else. Avalar tried to teach me how to control my ability. He was also making sure I didn't fall into Eridan's hands. Okay. What's Eridan after? What's he want from you? What everyone wants. Control of my powers. His homeworld faces annihilation. Eridan's decided to invade ours. Brilliant, wouldn't you say? Can't achieve much on his own, so he needs to bring an army. Except his navigators can't possibly move him and thousands of NL between planes. Their abilities won't allow it. Whereas yours will. Exactly. And if I die in the process, well, that's a necessary sacrifice. Hmm. How do you ever start traveling with Avalach? As soon as I had left you and Yen on the Isle of Avalon, I found myself pursued. Eridin and his Red Riders were on my heels. I fled through many worlds, many times. They came very close to catching me once. It was then that Avalach appeared, out of nowhere. He found a portal, and took us to a world where Eridin couldn't find us for, oh, perhaps half a year. Hmm. The world where Eridin couldn't find you, what was it like? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. <laughs> People there had metal in their heads, waged war from a distance, using things similar to megascopes. And there were no horses. Everyone had their own flying ship instead. Siri, stop fooling around. Told you you wouldn't believe me. Future. 
We should have stayed there. So why'd you return? I thought the hunt had lost my scent for good. I thought I was safe. Besides, I... I wanted to find you. You and Yennefer. You were looking for us. We were looking for you. Times I thought you were just a step away. Other times, felt like I was going around in circles. I'm not surprised. There were times I fled pell-mell head first and forward. So tell me how it happened, step by step. Eridin located us mere moments after we landed on Ard Skellig. Soon after, he and his riders surrounded us. I thought it was over, the end. Turned out Eridin had other plans. He produced the phylactery, uncorked it. A fog enveloped us. And Avalach began gasping for air. That's how Eredin cursed Avalach. Triggered his transformation into Uma? Yes. He didn't wish to kill him. Humiliation, that's what he was after. But Avalach refused to succumb without a fight. He cast a spell that wrought havoc in the hunt's ranks. And in a full half of a forest on Ard Skellig. <laughs> Yet it also gave us time to flee. Avalach opened a portal. I leapt in. He was supposed to follow right behind me, but something went awry. Impaired by the curse, he failed to reach the portal in time. We had agreed that if anything went wrong and we were separated, we would meet at his hideout in Venom. But you failed to meet there. Yes, we failed to. Once through the portal, instead of at Avalarch's hideout, I landed right in the middle of Crookback Bog. Hmm. <laughs> I barely escaped the crones. And then there was the Baron. You know, he took me hunting. I killed a wild boar with my sword. I heard. A coincidence, really. I had no desire to hunt that day, but it felt wrong to refuse. I'd taken nothing remotely resembling a hunting rifle. I simply hadn't intended to hunt. I was wandering through the forest, breathing deep the air. And then I heard a strange sound. Unsettling. Boar attacked you? Mm hmm. Big as a bison and lumbering straight at me. And all I had was my sword. Had to manage. Did just fine, judging by how the Baron's men remember it. Simple soldiers, the whole lot. But we got along splendidly. A shame I had to leave. Flee. But I didn't want to bring the wild hunt down on them. Apart from which, I knew by then the curse was progressing. So instead of looking for Avalar, I decided to find you and Yen. So how do you even meet a man like Horson Jr.? You and Yennefer were nowhere to be found. And I needed someone who could fix the phylactery. No ordinary craftsman would do. I needed a mage. One with extraordinary powers. Dandelion took it upon himself to help me. It was as if his honor depended on it. He arranged a meeting with a mage, but it proved a trap set by the temple guard. Hmm. Failed to mention that. <laughs> Probably didn't want to worry you. Later, we learned the guard did that sort of thing regularly, in the hope of nabbing anyone who collaborated with mages. We needed to find another way. That was clear. Then Dandelion said he knew a man who owned a piece of gnome bread, as he put it, could do more than others. He was certain to know someone who could fix the phylactery. Orson Jr. Mm-hmm. I suspected it might not be the best idea, but I was desperate. I had no choice. You suspected right. Orson was not the ideal partner in crime. Damn Simpleton got it in his head that we cheated him and kidnapped Dudu. Who you promptly freed only to have to flee to Temple Isle. Great idea. <laughs> we hadn't planned it. Had no time to consider, we just bolted. I didn't even realize the guardsmen were driving me into a trap. Suddenly there I was, and I knew I had to disappear. At once. And that's when you landed back in Skellige. The shore of Hindisfjall. The first pleasant place that came to mind. Hjalmar and I used to swim there. Wait, so... You actually wound up there by accident? I thought you and Avalok had arranged something. No, he simply sensed me using my power. 
Just as Eredin consents where I am, where I travel. In fact, Eredin arrived soon after I did. His ride is in tow. Once again, things happened quickly. Lofoten, the hunt's attack, my flight. And then, dreams. Just dreams. What did you dream? I've had nothing but nightmares lately. Pretty horrible. Likewise, for the most part. In one, a monster grown from a stillborn child chased you. Ugh. That was horrible. That sounds like Dea. <laughs> had a few nice dreams. For example, in one we sat around a fire, drinking good wine, and all around people danced and laughed. I like that one a lot better. Me too. But these dreams, and the others, ended in some tower. No matter what I dreamed, in the end, I would enter a tower. Recognize it? Know where it might be? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But there was something familiar about it. And something terrifying. The tower was stark and dead. But at the same time, I felt I had to enter it. Did you? No. Dreams all ended with me searching for the entrance. And the last time, instead of the tower, I saw your grizzled face. If not for the scar over your eye, I'd have thought I was still dreaming. I was afraid you were dead. Found some dwarves here. Said they'd try to wake you, but you were cold as ice and you weren't breathing. And yet you came in. Who listens to dwarves these days? <laughs> Speaking of which, they're probably getting antsy. We should go. Got a boat on the beach. Once we land, we'll head for Kaer Morin. On a horseback. Right. Conventional means of travel. They're just better. Though a portal would be quicker. And draw Eredin to us immediately. Rather not risk it. Besides, I hate portals. You should know this, Siri. Damn. They took the damn boat. Listen, we gotta think of a way to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. be happening things be happening Home. <laughs> it's cute. Welcome back. It's too cute. No 
point standing around. Come on, time to greet the others. You've not changed a bit. Any of you. All just like I remembered. What? <laughs> Little sis. Tress is here. Awkward. <laughs> They're all here. Everyone you asked for help. Avalox resting in the tower, still in pretty bad shape. No reason to do it out here. Come inside. Time short. Wild Hunt will be here soon. I... Maybe I'll give you two a moment. Trist, please. No, no, y you must have missed each other terribly. A minute's delay won't hurt anyone. Fine. So, a minute, then we go? All right. This is just a little awkward. <laughs> 45 seconds. Huh? We've 45 seconds left. Well, 30 now. And <laughs> then we throw the gauntlet at the wild hunt. So I beg you, use these seconds well. Yen, I adore you. Hmm. No points for creativity. <laughs> but for your candor. Time to go. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> 